Have you ever wondered why no one lives in Antarctica? It's not because of a lack of beauty. This frozen desert with its vast sheets of ice and mesmerizing auroras is undeniably breathtaking, but it's also undeniably harsh. Antarctica is the coldest place on Earth, with temperatures plummeting below negative 80 degrees Celsius. Yes, you heard that right, negative 80. To put that into perspective, your home freezer hovers around negative 18 degrees. Imagine a cold 44 times more intense. But the chill isn't the only thing keeping people away. Antarctica also boasts winds that can reach nearly 200 miles per hour. That's faster than a Formula One race car at top speed. Despite these harsh conditions, Antarctica is not entirely desolate. It draws researchers from around the world, eager to study its unique wildlife and rapidly melting ice. The western region of Antarctica in particular is a hotspot for glacial studies. The melting ice is a cause for concern, it contributes to rising sea levels, which can lead to the submersion of certain regions. This not only impacts human populations but also affects the native wildlife, which struggles to find food as their home transforms. Antarctica plays a significant role in maintaining our planet's balance. Its protection is of utmost importance. As the last unspoiled wilderness on Earth, it serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of our world and the impact of our actions. But what about people who want to live there? There are some who find the idea of living in such an extreme environment appealing. There are even those who've tried to claim parts of Antarctica as their own, much like the micronations of Australia. But unlike these micronations, no one has successfully established a permanent residence in Antarctica. This is partly due to the Antarctic Treaty. Signed by 12 nations in the late 1950s, this treaty prohibits any military activity, mineral mining, nuclear testing and nuclear waste disposal. It also prohibits any permanent human settlement. So, while the idea of living in Antarctica might seem exciting, the reality is far less appealing. The harsh climate, combined with the legal restrictions, makes it a place better suited for penguins and scientists than for permanent human habitation. In summary, Antarctica remains uninhabited due to its extreme climate and the restrictions imposed by the Antarctic Treaty. Its importance to our planet's health is undeniable, and its protection is crucial. While it may not be a place many of us would choose to call home, it's a place we all need to care about, for the sake of our collective future. And who knows, maybe one day, with advancements in technology, and a better understanding of how to live sustainably, we might see the first human settlement in Antarctica. But for now, it remains a place of research, preservation, and awe-inspiring beauty.